so I've got an idea for a board and in my head I think um, it should work so what I'm thinking about is kind of a uh, op amp experimenters board so that you have uh, an op amp you know in a nice little PC board with a power supply so you don't have to worry about um, a dual rail supply or anything like that but you know in, instead of having fixed components in place what I'm thinking about is more along the lines of something where we can just have some sockets and you can change the resistors or the capacitors and that way you know you can put in whatever components that you want to put in to make up your own type of board this pretty much goes along with my uh, my series of building these little boards here where each one has their own little individual purpose and then you can just chain together the inputs and outputs from these sectional boards and build up your own type of circuit then when you have it with all the components and everything the way you want it you know you can lay it out yourself anyway so I'm laying down these sockets here I'm trying to figure out well we're gonna need a resistor coming into the uh, the inverting input and then we're gonna need a feedback and we need from the non inverting to ground so how are we gonna lay all these together so you can kinda of see here this is sped up about three times but basically it's my brain going back and forth going, I'll put one here no let's put it here no let's hook it up here and then we'll hook it up here so you're just watching the inner workings of my brain and I know how a scary thing that is nobody wants to see that but this is kinda of what I do when I lay out a board I just kinda of work through this and figure out where I need to connect things see this is coming out of the inverting input which we need to go to ground so you can put in whatever you want then I'm thinking okay so for the feedback let's put in a parallel so that we could have a resistor and a capacitor in there and that way we could do like a uh, an integrator okay so we'll take that out here we don't need that we just need the one here and then we'll add another one over here that way not only can we have parallel for our feedback we can also have it serial so we could put in a low pass or a high pass filter on the feedback and that should give us you know a lot of different options in how things can work so hey by the way I'm recording this with the uh, zoom h4n pro uh, let me know your thoughts on the audio of it so this is just our layout there's nothing special going on here just dragging the pieces into place trying to make something that looks pleasing with our ins on the left side and our outs on the right side that is our uh, best practices you know same way when you're drawing your schematics you want your ins on the left your outs on the right so everything flows in a uh, in a reasonable direction now what I'm doing is I'm trying to line up the uh, the sockets so that they go in some kind of of a reasonable positioning so we have you know our, our our inverting input resistor you know coming right between the signal in and the uh, op amp and then we have our output chips going out and like that so just trying to get everything lined up as best that I can then we'll put on our little logos and our uh, our text to make everything look as nice as possible. So there it is. This is what it is supposed to look like when it's done. Hopefully, uh, it is what it will look like when it's done. Although, I don't know if I'll do it in blue. It doesn't matter. But you're just getting an idea of how I place things and that's what I'm looking at here but does this seem like a reasonable and logical placement for these um, sockets so that I can think well this is where I need my feedback resistor this is where I need my inverting resistor this is where I need my non-inverting ground resistor you know just does it look logical to me that's what I'm trying to figure out here and I, I, I think it looks pretty logical All we have to do now is order our boards. And of course, I'm ordering from PCBWay, 
who are the sponsor of this video and they do a fantastic job so I just need to get my Gerber files uh, what's it called op amp board there we go it's 50 by 50 millimeters I'm only needing five of them, two layers. FR4 will go with green and white, no gold fingers. We'll accept the hassle. And that's it. Go away, chat window. So $22. Again, that's using the DHL shipping. If you were to use other shippings, you can get different prices. PCB Way Express. Well, that's not too much cheaper. China Post, $15. E-Packet, $13. So that's probably about the cheapest way is the E-Packet. So 13 bucks. Five boards, 13 bucks. You get them in a week. It's a pretty good deal no matter how you look at it. Alright, so I've got the boards back. Took about five days. They look, uh, Pretty doggone good. No worries there. I went ahead and soldered one up. You have to watch me solder in this time. So we've got our ICL7660 up here, which gives us our positive and negative rail for the power supply. We've got our LM741 here. And then I've set up a simple inverting op amp circuit. We've got a 1K um, RFN or RN and a 10k RF that's our feedback resistor so of course the formula to figure out the gain of your op amp uh, inverting amplifier circuit is gain equals RF divided by RN so we'll get 10 we get a gain of 10 supposedly now you'll notice here I have a jumper here because we're not using anything in the uh, series don't need to put anything here in the parallel and again, a jumper here because we don't have a resistor going to ground. All right. So next, we just need a uh, signal source. All right. We're hooked up. I've got a one kilohertz sine wave being fed into it. And let's see what we get. Looks pretty good. The yellow channel is our uh, our input. The blue channel is our output. You can see it is out of phase and amplified. Not quite sure if that's ten times exactly, but you gets the idea, right? Right. So it's just another tool, another little um, Lego type piece that we can add to the arsenal of our little Lego building blocks. This one is a uh, configurable op amp board using the 741 and an ICL7660 for your dual rail power supply. Hope you guys like this little video. I'll put these up on the PCBWay site. You can download the Gerbers free and uh, get them made if you so desire. Alright, that's it. I'm out. Peace.